Hi, my name is Mike Miller. I'm manager of Quality Assurance, and today I'm going to show you the setup of the Timeworks Touch Clock. When you first get your box, as you open it, you're going to see the manual. Uh, there's a, a quick read here to um, get started, and uh, you can reference that as you go along. Uh, next is the actual Timeworks Touch uh, Getting Started Guide, and you'll definitely want to read through that as you begin. Uh, I'm going to take you through the steps, but just know that this is a resource for you to use. Okay, um, here's the clock, the Timeworks Touch clock that you'll be configuring today. It's important to remember to uh, take off the uh, screen that's over the, the display screen, uh, as well as the protective coating over the fingerprint sensor. Um, also, on the back side, you have your uh, mounting plate. You'll want to remove that. And there is a battery backup uh, that's uh, in place here. There are two tabs here. One's black, used to pull the battery out. The other one is, has a red arrow on it. Uh, clear plastic, you'll want to remove that, uh, which is over the cover of the actual battery push it in place, make sure it's firmly in, in place, replace the battery backup uh, plate, and then wait for it to start up. Uh, when the clock boots up, you will uh, see three icons. If for some reason you don't see those icons on the home page here, um, what you want to do is uh, press the bottom home key button. It will take you back to the screen. All right, here we are ready to place this clock. It's, uh, the bracket has been mounted on the wall. The important thing to remember is to find a place that um, is next to a door or a highly uh, trafficked area for your employees as they're on their way to uh, their uh, respective jobs. Um, once you have the, the, the bracket mounted on the wall, uh, one thing to note here is is that this clock does support power over Ethernet, so PoE. It does have support for that, and this clock is set up for that. Um, as far as mounting it on the wall, um, you're going to want to take these two brackets that you see right here, place them in the slots, push them down, and then underneath there will be one other bracket, and you'll slide that into place and now your clock is mounted. The other thing to remember is that you have a little screw that can be placed on the bottom uh, that will then secure the bracket to the clock and lock it down. The other thing to remember that's important here is that um, if you're using Wi-Fi um, you need to have a strong enough signal so it, that is a very important uh, aspect. You'll want to have at least three bars and you can see the three bars down below uh, when it is uh, set up for uh, Wi-Fi. Um, the other option is if you are connecting to the internet through um, an ethernet cable, um, by default the clock should come as DHCP where it automatically finds uh, the network that you're connected to. You'll want to go into the ethernet manager come to configure networks, uh, come to configure ethernet. It should say D DHCP is the default that's to, uh, selected. If for some reason you have a static IP address uh, for your network um, and you've been given that, you can refer to the manual as well as referring to your um, IT manager that uh, works with your system. Um, and your company. If you're using Wi-Fi, you'll want to go into the settings application here and you will tap the uh, slider there to turn the Wi-Fi on at which time you'll be prompted to enter in a login ID and password. Secondly, within this um, clock settings, you'll want to set, make sure you set the date and time. Select the date and time option. You'll want to uncheck the automatic date and time as well as the automatic time zone and then you will want to go to your time zone. You'll select your time zone
and then you'll re-select automatic time zone and automatic date and time. Then we can close this, go back to the home screen. Now you're ready and prepared to uh, fire up the TimeWorks Touch app and begin the registration process. Um, all registering of clocks is done on the clock as opposed to going into TimeWorks uh, Plus and adding the clock in that manner. At this point you're prompted for the username and password. You'll log in and then follow the process of, uh, of connecting to the or registering the clock. Log in using your accountant or client level credentials. This will be the same login and password you use to access the Timekeeping web app. If you see the clock screen instead of the registration page or your credentials don't work, please contact your timekeeping provider for additional assistance. After logging in, select your account from the Assign Clock drop-down at the upper left corner of the screen. There is no need to enter a serial number. It will populate automatically. Name Clock, Name Location, and Add Note are all optional. If you are interested in learning more about these fields are used, please reference the clock manual. Once you have confirmed all the information is correct, press register clock and you will receive a confirmation message when the clock is successfully added to the account. Once the confirmation message clears, the app will display the clock entry screen and the device will be in kiosk mode which means the TimeWorks Touch app cannot be closed by an employee, nor can they access any of the device settings. The clock settings designate the sign-in methods employees use at the clock. These methods include PIN, PROX, and Biometric. All three are enabled by default. To change these methods, you will need to do so on the Clock Settings tab. Access the Clock Settings tab with the gear icon at the top right corner of the clock entry screen. Enter your client or accountant level credentials. The Clock Settings tab should be displayed by default. If not, it will be the middle tab on the display. You can have any combination of the three methods you would like. For example, with PIN and Biometric enabled. Employees without a PIN will be required to use a fingerprint. While those with a PIN can enter a number instead of a print to identify themselves. Any changes will be saved upon exit. Use the X at the top right of the screen to return to the clock entry page. Keep in mind, if you do not have PIN selected as an entry method, then the numeric pad will not be displayed on the clock entry screen, just the time. So what's next after you've configured the clock? Well, if your employees are using pins or prox cards and they have already been added to employee setup in timekeeping, TimeWorks Touch is ready to go. If your employees are going to be using fingerprints, then you'll need to get them enrolled in the clock. That process is explained in the video, Enrolling Prints on TimeWorks Touch. But you will also find instructions for fingerprint enrollment in the product manual. In addition to your product manual, you can always check the Help link in Timekeeping for additional information on TimeWorks Touch. Thanks for watching and congratulations on your new clock.